This is an exchange, remember? As soon as we get the shipment loaded, you get your daughter back. You have my word on it. That's not good enough. What's that? That's what? You were pulling something. Come out of there. Take it easy. Happened. Tanel caught onto the plan. They, they, they took Kelly with him. They took his she all right? She's fine. She's fine. We saw her. She's okay. It wouldn't have happened if you'd stayed put here the way we asked you to. What did you expect to accomplish sneaking in there like that? I was trying to help for God's sake. Can you understand that or would you like to take me well, off Well, they found you pretty quickly, didn't they? Stop it. Will you stop it? Once Tanel found out that the bars were phony, it didn't matter. The whole plan was dead. It didn't matter who was there. The crews went after Kelly. You still might be able to pull it off, Tony. Don't count on that, Dad. They'll be guarding her even more zealously than they were. We're back where we started. We, we have no choice but to negotiate with Tanel. Only this time we won't have a friend in the enemy camp. If only we had known about Robert. What are you talking about? He tried to free Kelly and Hunt shot him. Shh, he's dead? He was still alive when I took him to the hospital. I'll check on his condition. Eden thought that he was trying to help all along. And now I'm worried about Eden. She said she was going to leave the house and she called me. I called. She wasn't she, there. She uh, turned over the warehouse. She turned. Is she all right? She's is shaved, she in baby. She, no, she's fine. There's no news on his condition yet. You know, I'm still not sure you're right about him. I mean, everything did happen pretty fast. He could have been keeping Kelly from escaping, you know. Then why would Hunt have shot him? No. He was trying to help her. I saw it, Cece. He tackled Hunt so that Kelly could get away. Hers? They shoved her in the back of a limousine and took off. I lost them. I checked the yacht, but they weren't there. All right, that's it. We're calling the police now. No, no. Not until we make sure that she is safe, till Kelly is safe. Where's Eden? She, uh, she go home? She's at the hospital, Cruz. She went in the ambulance with Robert. I'm sorry you'll have to wait outside while I search surgery. Eden? Uh, we need to know what happened. Who called you? Paramedics have to report all gunshot wounds. Now, we went down to the docks first, but nobody was there. Oh, my God. Cruz and me. What does Cruz have to do with this? Nothing. Uh, he doesn't have anything to do with it. But who shot this guy? Now, what, what were you doing with him? Vic, I don't know, okay? I, uh, I got there after it was all over. I didn't see anything. Eden. Look, I know you've been through a bad time, but I shouldn't have to tell you it's a crime to withhold information on something like this. Uh, hey, how you doing? Okay. Can I talk to you for a minute? I'd give him a full report on this uh, accident in the morning, and he's uh, taking a big risk by doing me a favor, but he agreed to it. 
I'm glad you're okay. I was scared. I'm fine. Do they still have Kelly? Yeah, they took her. Uh, but we don't know where, so... Uh, that's why I came here. I was hoping maybe... Robert might have some ideas. Is he st is still in surgery? No. They, uh, they took two bullets from him, but he's alive. I mean, I don't know how he is. He was trying to save Kelly. Well, how is he? Uh, he just regained consciousness, but he's quite lethargic. Listen, I need to see him. It's official business. Who are you? I'm the former uh, chief of detectives for the Santa Barbara PD, and I'm working as an adjunct detective on this case. It's urgent I see Mr. Barber before he loses consciousness. I don't know if it's um, such a... Lieutenant Boswell is still in the building, and he'll vouch for me if you need it. Thanks. Do you know where you would have taken her? Can you tell me, please, where I where I can look? You shouldn't have gotten into this. I told him. I told him. Tell you. Yeah. Explain. explain what? There's nothing to explain. I got eyes, I can see. You're... You're in love. Well, it's not love. Not the way you mean. What, what kind... What, what is it then? You, you, um... You feel like, uh... He's a brother to you, or a father figure, maybe? He's your pal, is that what it is? You know, I've said this over and over to you. And you deliberately misunderstand. No, I don't. I think I do understand. You feel guilty because he gave up so much for you, and you feel sorry for him because he didn't get anything tangible in return. I understand that. <laughs> you make it sound so stupid. Well, it makes me feel stupid. You think, uh, you, you think that you're sparing me something by pretending? Uh, you, you think I don't know the truth? I do know you. I know your heart. You're wrong about this. No, I'm not. I've seen you. I've seen you look at him. It's not love. It's, it's, uh... It's what? Tell me. Compassion. Compassion. Compassion for somebody who's been hurt, yeah. Uh -huh. Like... You'd, you'd feel that way about anyone who was hurt, anybody off the street, I'm sure. You know, I don't know how to explain this to you. I mean, I have feelings for Robert, but they're in the past. Eden, there are tears streaming down your face. There is anguish emanating from every pore of you. His blood is all over you. Are we in the past? What am I supposed to do? I'm not, I'm not supposed to care. That Robert is gonna die, maybe, because he was trying to protect my no, sister. No, please don't. I, 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 I'm not saying that. Of course you're gonna care for him. It's a fact. The man has suffered for you and your family more than anyone on the face of the earth. It's a fact. Look, all I'm trying to say to you is that maybe the situations are, uh, I don't know, extreme. You know, every word and, and every uh, move means or seems to mean so much more. Now that is double talk. If you were to be honest with me about this, you would admit that you're angry at me because I screwed up. I did. No. I screwed up. And you know why I did? Because I'm jealous of a man 
I almost got your sister killed. I didn't believe you when you said he was doing something good for your family again. I didn't believe you. I couldn't believe you. You know why? Because I'm insanely jealous of the man. I'm not blaming you. Well, you should blame me. I'm blaming you for lying to me and for lying to yourself because you are. I am not. You know, you could, you could be someplace else right now. You don't have to be here. You could be home with our children. You could be with your family right now, trying to figure out how to go about finding your sister. Half an hour ago, you could have been looking for me. You know, I mean, for all you knew, I could have been shot too, but you weren't. What were you doing, Eden? You were standing here maintaining a bedside vigil for this particular man. Robert doesn't have anybody else. And nobody should have to die alone. Please. This is an act of charity on your part? I don't understand why you don't trust me. I mean, you're my husband. I love you. Don't, don't say that. Every time you say that, it makes me crazy. You say it on your husband like it mattered as you fall deeper and deeper and... and... Wait, what am I supposed to do? You know, how am I supposed to prove it to you? You want me to do that? You want, you you want, want me to prove, to prove it, to me? it to me? I'll tell you how you could do it. Walk out of here right now. Let's go. We'll call his assistant. What's her name? Ren Renfield, is that her name? We'll call his assistant. She's been with him for years. They've got to be close, then he won't be alone. That'll take care of it, right? Should we do that? Should we go? No. You can't leave. I may be your husband, but you're in love with another man. I just don't think that Renfield should be the person to be here and... I think that I might be able to help him stay alive. I know that you can help him stay alive, and I know you need to because that's how you're going to stay alive. I understand. I hope you do. I hope you get the stakes. I am not going to stand here humiliated indefinitely in the way of this new intimacy. I'm not going to do it. I have a lot of pride, and I've been swallowing it for a long time. What are you doing? You twist everything I say, and you turn it into something I don't even mean. I, I just think maybe I understand what you say better than you do right now. No, you don't! Good God in heaven, I'm gonna leave now. Your family is depending on me. So I'm gonna go help them try to find your sister and bring her home, okay? You do what you have to. Well, I wish you'd been here just a little sooner. I just saw the last of the boats take off. What boats? Tunnel called. See if he's exchanging the shipment for Kelly. Oh, my God. Who's with him? He is alone. He wouldn't have it any other way. Why? Because he didn't say he didn't want it on anyone else's conscience. What about his crew? Doesn't he have a crew? He's got the crew, but the crew doesn't know that it's a dangerous ship, but they don't know what the final destination is. Now tell me, have you seen Eden? Yeah, I saw her. She's still at the hospital. Yeah, she's... she's still with Robert. Cruz... I can't, I can't even, even begin right. to get into that house if you... Got you here. Have I ever seen Mason? I've been looking for him all around the house. Maybe he got in that boat after all. Well, that sounds like a plan. Wait a second, you'd be too late to catch up to them. We don't even know if that's where Mason went. Damn sure what I need to be. Hello! Who's in there? Cruz? It's CC! Thanks for not being here to take charge of the boat himself. Get All right, get out of the way. I'm going to blow the lock. Lord knows what the hell he's up to. Come on. terrible person I am too, Mama. I'm here to do what Cruz should have done, take you home. Has anything new happened with Kevin? Your father and brother and your husband are negotiating with Tanel to get her back. And I need you to be with me to sit this through. I can understand if you would prefer to be with your children. 
But of all the places you should be, this is certainly where you don't belong. Thought you'd understand, Mama. But you're in love with two men. Hmm? I can understand that you may have feelings that you wish you didn't have. But I cannot understand your acting on them to the point where you're threatening the wonderful life you have with Cruz that you work so hard for. What are you thinking of sitting here waiting and crying? Doesn't it even matter to you that he was hurt because he was trying to save your daughter? I think it's very fitting since he's the one that got her into this horrible situation in the first place. Well, I'm glad you feel that way because I wish to God I didn't feel this responsible. This is really crazy. Yeah, well, maybe I am crazy, Mama. I feel really alone. Are you eating? Yes. He's asking for you. Don't go. I have to, Mama. Oh, Daddy! Oh, Daddy! Oh, I'm so glad to see you, my God. Oh, God, you one piece, don't. We don't have a lot of time to celebrate right now. All right. Kelly, where's Mason? He went up to Sasha's house. He, he ordered me to take my car and go home, but I turned around and came back to get him. And I was still on the phone trying to call you guys. Why did he go to Sasha's? It, it was, he took my place with Tanel. What? What are you talking about? That was part of the deal. It was Mason and a shipment in exchange for Sasha and me. I thought that you knew about this. But I, Tanel's not going to let Sasha go, and now he's got both of them. Wait, how long ago did Mason leave, honey? Just a few minutes ago, just a few minutes. But they're getting the boats ready to go, Daddy. I don't Let's know if there's any time to do it. Let's go find out if they're going. Be just... really careful. They're we'll the everywhere. We'll be careful. <sighs> Julian, I'm sorry. I begged Mason not to go. Then why did he go? He felt that he had to hold up his end of the deal. He was afraid of what Tanel would do if he didn't. Why is Mason suddenly so important to Tanel? Why was he se selected over the rest of us? A and why didn't he tell me? I don't know, Julia. I'm gonna stay here and watch for the boat. I'm gonna check that out. <laughs> looking for your tears could always get to me even when nothing else in the world could I still can I hope they're not for me this time or for all of us I don't deserve them Mr. Kelly, it's my fault. You should be looking at me like the enemy, the way you used to. You're not the enemy. I wouldn't be here if you were. You shouldn't have expected them to believe you. It was up to me to help Kelly. No, you didn't. That's one thing you've never done. I just know you better than anybody else. You know, it's really easy to hate somebody. People see what they want to see. Or what they're told. I listened. I didn't look. Don't repeat the past. Don't make me the 
a cause for you defying them again. I don't want to ruin your life. Well, you think that's what I'm doing? I'm being defiant? I should just do whatever they want me to do and let's walk out of here and that would prove something? I don't think so. Maybe it's the fact that I've always been obstinate in my life. I mean, I have uh, been disloyal to them. I have disappointed them. But I still can't do what they want me to do. They want me to deny you and go back into the fold. And I can't do it. I've tried. And it didn't work. Now, I'm not saying that I, I love you. Do you understand that? I mean, I, I do, but not like Cruz. I mean, he's my life, you know. But you and me, we have something. And it's not gone. I mean, the story that we have, it, it hasn't ended. I mean, I feel there's some sort of resolution or something. Some ending that hasn't been told to us. And I, I keep thinking, well... Maybe after all this passes, we could have a chance to find it. I just, I just know what I can't leave you. Do you want me to? <clears throat> and I'll drop it. And then you and I and Eden and your kids and this whole town will be blown up in a mushroom cloud. You want to take that chance? <laughs> <laughs> 